Welcome everyone to the Love Channel TV. My name is Tatia. Today we have Juan Pablo with us. He's the director and founder of Conscious Living School. He teaches all over the globe. His work is very, very big and englobes uh, shamanism, energy work, yoga, nutrition, Chinese medicine. Please tell us a little bit about your work, Juan. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much for this space. Thank you all for being here with us. It's a blessing, it's an honor to share this. Um, well, it's, it's basically many tools that help us come back to our natural state of health, joy, um, peace, all the qualities that we call from the soul, qualities from the soul, qualities that are innate in us and that we have lost because the way we live. So that's why we call it conscious living. When we're coming back to that natural way of living and helping in that way just transform our lives and in a very natural way come back to this inner state. Yes, so we use, as you said, shamanism. I have worked uh, for many years with shamans from, from different places. And um, I used, uh, with no substances, the only substance we use is cacao. It's, that's something good to clear because many people think shamanism is always related to ayahuasca and San Pedro and it's, that's all medicine. It's medicine from, from the Amazons or from, from the forest or from nature. But it's not that you need it all the time. We are so ready now to do changes through breath work, through nutrition, through deep yoga, not just like asana, vinyasa, going crazy, physical yoga, but doing the real yoga, qigong. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many tools, meditation, yes. that we sound, can use. Sound healing. Sound healing, amazing. You can get to deeper states through sound healing. So I'm more about that than, than, than the, the, the medicine, the physical medicine. Mm -hmm. But I incorporate that with, you know, I work with Reiki, I work with holistic nutrition, I, I help people detoxify themselves and learn to go deep into deep states of meditation and have the, the best energy they can have for themselves, heal like their relationship, for example, with their inner child, their relationship with others also if there's any any problems that we are not um, being able to see coming back to ourselves because it's all back to ourselves yes. we're always projecting it outside yes. but it's just when you see it inside it melts and then you can let it go so you can come back and how did you start your journey when do you realize your life purpose well it started when I was very young like nine or ten with my brother he got really sick he was like my best friend my you know my body like even my like my father because he was always uh, present for me and all of a sudden he was dying oh. so um, we 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 went all over the globe to to help him out first with traditional medicine you know allopathic medicine and it was it didn't work they told him he had one year so we had to look for alternatives and that was shamans we went with like medicine people and we went with like uh, energy workers and the holistic nutritioners, uh, people that really helped him get clear and clean and, and, and just come back to his natural state. And now he's 44, so it's great, it worked. Something happens at some point that I go back in, into a different level and I keep thinking when I will stay there in the highest level. So, is it possible to stay in that level? You would be enlightened, that is possible, yes. but it, it takes a lot of work and that's one of the, of the basic uh, calls that we have or the basic or the mission that we have when you're in a spiritual path. It's about releasing any blockages that are not letting you come to that natural state because we're again in the natural state of bliss. You are in that space of real connection in all levels. But if you're coming down, there's a reason because we came here in earth not to live in bliss. We came here in earth to let go of whatever is not letting us live in bliss. So that's something that has happened a lot in the spiritual path in, and, and also in the spiritual ego that we feel that, oh, we're so good and everything is perfect and blah, blah, blah. And you're in that state and it's like a mask because you're not doing the real work. 
The real work, you have to go into your shadows. You have to see what you have inside and let it go, transform it, bring it out. That's what the spiritual work is all about. Yes. And it gets lost of trying to achieve just being that not that state, that high state that you are talking about. Is that light that you carry in your being so radiant? Is it possible to everyone to have that? Is it available to all of us? Totally, we are all one. We are from the same source. The more you release the blockages in your life, the nat more natural this light and this radiance comes out because we are all radiant beings. But that's the work that we were talking about. Emotional release, let go of the past, let go of trauma. So much of your life is about giving to others. How do you manage or negotiate to stay healthy and to be compassionate with yourself and stay refreshed and focused? That's a big one for many yoga teachers, many healers, everybody that's sharing their heart out and in many ways, maybe it's just helping children to eat in the streets. Whatever your role is to give, it's always important to receive. And the way I do it is following the conscious living principles, which is, for example, I go to nature and I ground, I put my feet on the floor with no, mo with no shoes and I feel the energy from the earth. You don't even have to feel it, just connecting the sole of the feet to the earth recharges you amazingly. And you can just breathe, simple as that, and let go. Yes, that's a great thing that helps me a lot. And it can be in a park, it can be in the beach, it can be hugging a tree. Like nature really helps you release any negative energy that you're accumulating or recharge yourself. And um, another way I use is through breath. Like anywhere I am, even when I'm giving, just always conscious about breath because when you're inhaling, you are recharging yourself if you do it in a conscious way. If you inhale through your nose, and exhale can be through the nose or through the mouth, but it's very important to connect with that slow and deep inhalation, bringing it deep into the belly and into the kidneys. Many times when we're doing energy work or teaching a lot or talking a lot, our kidneys and adrenal glands work a lot, so that drains our energy. So it's very important to breathe to the belly and to the kidneys so you're constantly regenerating that and you don't feel that you finished a workshop and you're like, you need three days in bed. That's one of the examples, but you know, I use food, I use um, deep relaxation, I do my own yoga practice, I do sun gazing. There's so many, but you do have to somehow use tools to come back to that state because if not we are the ones that are gonna get sick yes yes, yes. and you living in Costa Rica for sure helps how to connect when you are in a big city yes that's a really big big question that I know you guys want to know as well yes so first bring nature into your being okay drinks a lot of smoothies raw foods as much as you can, juices, you know, greens, always greens because that's nature in you. Like you wanna, you wanna be in nature, take nature inside of you. That's really important. That's why we recommend this type of nutrition, right? But then, as you are saying, you can go to anywhere. It can be a one, two feet square uh, piece of, of, of grass somewhere, you know, as long as it has direct connection to earth and no cement underneath then you're connected to the electromagnetic energy of the earth. And that's what you want in big cities because you can see there's so many um, uh, energies, uh, electromagnetic energies that affect you yes. like mobile phones, yes. computers, cars, electricity, all these things disconnect us from this our practice, essence. Right? Especially when you live on, on, a, on apartments that are away from the earth, you, the higher you are, the higher frequencies you have, and these frequencies, like when you go on a plane, are cooking literally your cells. Oh. You're aging. Every time you're going on a plane, it's really? too high. It's like cooking on a microwave. Oh. So it's very important to take care of yourself, grounding before and after you're going, for example, on an, on an airplane. So would you say that traveling a lot is not healthy? No, if you don't do it conscious. Mm. So there's always a way to do it. We have to use our imagination, our creativity, our knowledge, study what are the best ways and that's why we are here. Can you please give an advice for the new generation that wants to make a positive impact in the world? Sure. Um, 
what I recommend that I feel it's a lot missing right now it's having some spaces of silence you are very present with everything that's happening with the sounds with your thoughts observing the thoughts and not being lost in the thoughts because many times you have a thought oh I'm not good enough or I'm not capable or I, and you say yes to those thoughts and it's just a crazy mind saying something that we in, at some point said yes to that belief mm -hmm. so when you are you start to really know yourself and know all these parts that we have that are bringing us down we, are, we become our worst enemies sometimes so when you're conscious that every thought you have and everything you are saying through the verb you are materializing that we are very powerful beings yes. and we are co-creating with the universe yes and we are linguistic beings yes co our language language co-creates yes so if we are conscious of this that's happening in that silence place you just stop your daily life it can be a minute or two it doesn't matter the time and just observe your thoughts your emotions what are you really feeling many times we feel angry or we feel sad and we don't let ourselves feel this emotion so we're just sticking the emotions crystallize them in our organs and then those are the obstacles we have that don't let us live in bliss live in freedom so when you give those spaces of silence and you're like what am I really feeling how did I feel this morning that I went and I talked to my mom or I talked to my son or I or, or whatever happened and you really let yourself sink to your truthful being many things will come up and you would be like in alignment with the present moment but if you don't do that it's like you're accumulating all these things accumulating all these emotions accumulating all these thoughts and then that's, that's when you go crazy you go in depression you're missing energy uh, you don't know you, you feel you can't relate to people you just want to be alone it's just because you're not working with the truthfulness of going inside and saying what am i feeling thinking Juan pablo what was to realize the impact that your your love had in other people's lives well, it feels really good when you connect with love actually but then you find out it's not even your love you're just being the love and that's uh, um, something I love in the spiritual work when you when you there's three phases right and the first phase is like learning to love ourselves many times we look in the mirror and we're looking like oh I have this wrinkle here I'm not as as uh, in the, uh, the right weight I would like to be because the magazine shows me that I should have this or that body or whatever fashion is or whatever you know the, the society says so we have that in our mind and we try to fit that in our mind in many ways and if we don't fit we don't feel good with ourselves so learning to let go of anything any belief that carries away from accepting the beautiful being we already are mm -hmm. yes the loving being we already are and learning to love yourself just the way you are there's nothing to change when you love yourself the way you are things change you bring light and love to your life that is definite but it's important to accept it first just the way you are so that's the first phase the second phase now that you are love you you are you love yourself you accept everything in you now you start loving everybody because it's natural you love all beings yes animals and trees and flowers and of course human beings everybody no matter uh, where they are from uh, the, the color of the skin their eyes who cares we are beautiful beings all of us and you are connected to that essence you are not seeing them through the eyes of the mind which is saturated and it's um, poisoned by the society you are seeing with the eyes of the heart mm -hmm. and that is love everywhere you see love everywhere there's no judgment there's no criticism really doesn't come because it's a vibration where they don't exist criticism and judgment exist in the mind in a very low vibration where the mind is working our way through and we're listening to that and we're thinking that is true so from that from that place we judge and criticize when you are love you're sharing the love with everybody you 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 you, you see the love in everybody and the third phase it does it's not about anything outside of you it's not about any being or, or or things outside of you it's about being the love you are love so you can be alone in your house cooking or, or cleaning the dishes or whatever and you just feel the love because you are the love you're accepting you are love and it feels so blissful it feels so amazing 
and I love love <laughs> and I love to talk about love and I love to have love in people and I love to have you here I'm so grateful to have you here with the love channel and share this space with everyone I hope that our message can reach as many people as possible please tell us how can we find you thank you thank you so much for inviting me again thank you all for being with us and sharing this please share this video with whoever you can please yes. share the love because this angel here is doing a lot of work to bring this to you i'm coming all the way from costa rica okay to miami so there's a lot of things happening so please help support this transformation in every human being that we can and um, to come to, to these teachings, yes, I do. We do all kinds of, of workshops, immersions. We do teacher trainings, holistic yoga teacher trainings, shamanic yoga teacher trainings, healing trainings for people that are interested in doing uh, all kinds of healing. Uh, we do nutrition. We do like conscious living coach, so you can train that with us too. It's all in the consciouslivingschool.com. That's our website. You can find all the info there. We do sacred journeys. We take them to the pyramids of Peru. We're taken to the pyramids of Mexico. Next year, we're going to Egypt with the best teachers you can imagine, learning all the mysticism and the Kabbalism from Egypt. It's amazing. It's amazing. Like really, if you want and you're into like transformation, love and spirituality, you can look for us, please. ConsciousLivingSchool.com or Facebook, also the Conscious Living School. That's amazing. Thank you for coming all the way from Costa Rica and teaching us so many blessings that you have learned through your journey. Thank you for being present in the Love Channel. It's a present to us. Thank you for everyone watching. We see you soon. Keep tuned. We have much more to come. Much love to you. Bye-bye. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>